problem, we are factoring a quadratic in two variables. So you can see we have an x squared term, we have a y squared term, and we have an xy term in the middle. Sometimes I think of this as two quadratic equations. One you read this way, one you read this way. Uh, the way to go about solving a, an equation that looks like this, I think the easiest way is just to ignore the y first. So let's rewrite this without the y terms at all. So 6x squared plus 19x plus 10. So ignoring the y's. And then let's see if we can factor this. We've got a leading coefficient greater than 1, so I want to list my factors. I could have 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Here I've got 10, so that'd be 1 and 10 or 2 and 5. And then we've got all positive signs, so that's nice. So I'm going to have something plus something and something plus something. And let's just uh, uh, pick some and see if they work. So let's start with 2x and 3x. And then I'm just going to put in 2 and 5. We want to add up to 19. So let's see. If I put in a 2 here and a 5 here, I'd have five. A 2x times 5, that'd be 10x. And 2 times 3 would be 6x. So that's 16. That's not 19. Hmm. What if I put the 5 in here? I'd have 15. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to work. So if we move these around, put the 2 over here and the 5 over here, now, I have 2x times 2, that's 4x, and 5 times 3x is 15x, so I get 19x. So there is our factorization, ignoring the y's, and then we're just going to put the y's back in. So I had 2x plus 5, that's going to be 2x plus 5y, and 3x plus 2 is going to be 3x plus 2y. Now, uh, we should FOIL this out just to check. So first terms. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. The outside terms, 2x uh, uh, times 2y is 4xy. Inside terms, 5y times 3x is 15xy. And the last terms, 5y times 2y would be 10y squared. This in the middle, we've already verified, comes out to 19xy. So we've got 6x squared plus 19xy plus 10y squared. And that checks out. So that's how to factor a quadratic in two variables when you've got the leading coefficient greater than 1.